Hello, my name is Marcel McDonald. On behalf of Gynabod, the number one feminine hygiene intimate care brand in South Africa, we would like to thank you for joining us. We have created this webinar series to talk body and hormone changes through different life stages with the aim of empowering women to have a voice in a safe place. Today, we are honored to have with us Dr. Karishma Ramdev, who will unpack puberty and what to expect as our bodies evolve. Dr. Ramdev is a qualified medical doctor and a Miss SA 2020 finalist. Gynagod Voice Your Bee webinar is a safe place needed to make this a possibility. Real truths, real facts and real openness. Plus, we will offer you a solution to symptoms such as odor control, dryness, irritation and discomfort, keeping you feeling clean and fresh and confident daily. Welcome Dr. Ramdev and thank you for joining us on the Ghana God Boisho B webinar series. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi Ghana Girl, welcome. If you're between the ages of 12 to 17, then this is for you. You have probably noticed changes happening in your body that mark the beginning of womanhood. And you probably aren't sure what many of these changes mean for you or how to embrace them into your daily life and routine. Well, fear not, as hopefully after watching this video, you will feel more comfortable and confident about your wonderful body and all that it is designed to give you. The most important thing to remember is that everything our bodies go through is totally normal. Instead of being embarrassed about it, we need to be more open about how we feel by talking to each other. Our bodies are constantly changing, whether it be growing breasts, having fuller hips, producing vaginal discharge, or starting our periods. The reproductive system of a female is completely unique to us. It is made up of the uterus, or womb as some people call it, attached to two ovaries by the fallopian tubes. The ovaries keep all our eggs stored in there. These eggs have the potential to become children at a later stage. A fun fact is that when we are born, we have around 300,000 eggs. And once they are gone, we cannot produce any more than that. Another attachment to the uterus is our vagina. The vagina is a very special part of the female body and we need to protect that and keep it sacred to us for as long as we live. It is the passageway in which our vaginal discharge as well as our period comes out. It is made up of muscular, it is a muscular organ made up of tissue and like any living thing, there are organisms that live there. A bacteria called lactobacilli lives in the vagina and help keeps the pH balanced and protected from any other bad bugs growing in there. It is basically the good soldier. Lactobacilli relies on the pH of the vagina to remain the same in order for it to survive and continue protecting the vagina. So what changes the vaginal pH? Number one, antibiotics. When we are sick and we take these, they kill all bugs, the bad and the good. So what this means is that our dear friend Lactobacilli dies and there is nothing to protect the vagina. And so you can have fungus and other horrible bacteria start growing. Number two is scented cleansers and soaps. Number three is feminine sprays. Number four, poor hygiene. Number five, contraceptives such as condoms. Number six, sexual intercourse. Number seven, low estrogen levels. This hormone plays a vital role in our womanhood and periods. Number eight is stress. Along with the change in pH, we have a change in the smell of our vaginas. This can be due to a natural substance occurring there, which is called discharge. Healthy discharge is usually white or clear. It is not smelly and definitely not itchy. You can have more of it just before your period and less just after your period ends. This is normal and it is not something to worry about. Adequate hygiene and washing your vagina every day keeps your vagina 
healthy and under control at all times. So what happens when your discharge actually starts to smell? Well, it could mean that you have a vaginal infection. It is important to me that you know three very common types of discharges that you shouldn't have so that if you notice it, you seek help from your doctor immediately. The first is a white, thick, chunky, itchy discharge. It makes your private area burn quite a bit. It is actually a very common infection to have and it is called thrush, yeast, a yeast infection, candidiasis. Many women have this infection more than once in their lifetime as it is very easy to get but it is not transmitted through sex. So don't ever feel embarrassed about it. The second discharge is thin and watery and it is white or gray in color and it is pretty hard to miss as you will notice this fishy odor coming out of your vagina. It doesn't usually itch. This is also a very common infection to get. In fact, I had it a few years ago and had no idea how I got it until I went to my doctor and he asked me when last I put bubble bath in my bathtub and soaked in it which was actually just a few days before I got the infection. Remember the list of reasons your vaginal pH changes that I just spoke about? Well, I wish I knew about it before I took that bubble bath. This infection is also not transmitted by sex. The third discharge is usually a green or yellow frothy discharge. It also smells fishy. It can make your vagina feel itchy, red, sore, and makes it very painful when you pee. It can also cause sex to be very painful. This type of infection can be passed to you through sex and it is very important to go to your doctor to be checked up. They will be able to treat you and make you feel healthy again. I hope that after this information overload, you feel more comfortable with handling your discharge and identifying any abnormal signs. Let's move on to a topic that we experience every single month and can have some ladies in absolute agony whilst others are not even affected. The period. Every month our ovaries take turns to release an egg and wait for it to get fertilized by sperm. Our uterus also decides to prepare in advance for this occasion and makes the lining inside quite thick just in case there is a baby that needs to start growing. In the event that fertilization doesn't occur, the broken down egg and the old lining break away from the uterus wall and start shedding through the vagina. This is the blood that we see that is the beginning of each of our monthly periods. A period is quite an uncomfortable event. Some of the things you can, expe you can expect to experience are number one, heavy flow. Number two, breast tenderness. Number three, mood swings, or as we call it, PMS. Number four, cramping. And in some cases, like mine, this can be absolutely excruciating pain. Number five is pimples or breakouts. And number six is bloating or water retention. Now, some ladies are lucky enough to experience only a few of these symptoms, if any at all while others, like me, experience everything and plan to have a few days of misery every month. But don't worry, as you become more in tune with your body, you will learn what it needs, when it needs it, and how it needs it. For example, I know that on day one of my period, I have to take painkillers to continue functioning as normal. I also know that for the first two days of my period, I have a very heavy flow, which becomes much less by day three. The important thing is to listen to your body and what it is trying to tell you. With that being said, your period pain should never be so intense that it stops you from working or doing the activities of daily life. That is completely abnormal and could likely be a condition called endometriosis, which is very common in many females. If you are experiencing pain that stops you from attending school, doing sports or working, you should go to your doctor as they might be able to help you get that pain under control. During the week of your period, even more than usual, it is important for you to keep your vagina clean and fresh 
as you can start smelling quite a bit if you don't. I do this by keeping intimate wipes in my bag and having an extra pad so that I can change it when the one that I'm using gets too full. For the ladies who wear tampons, it is really important that you use a size that is suitable for you and that you can change it at least every four hours, especially during heavy flow. This prevents infection and a buildup of blood. So what's happening when your period isn't on time? Well, it could very well mean that you are pregnant. It basically means that after having sex, sperm has fertilized your egg and a baby has implanted in your womb and has started growing. The first sign is that your period is late and then stops coming every month. Your tummy might also start looking bigger and rounder, your breasts get bigger and you can even have stretch marks on your tummy. You should also be seeking help at your nearest clinic where a doctor or a nurse will do a pregnancy test for you. Or if you have the money, you can buy a pregnancy test kit from your nearest pharmacy. Always make sure you check the expiry date before you pay for that pregnancy test. If you're currently sexually active, it is really important to be using some form of contraception. It is free at all your government institutions and clinics. The easiest and most important one to use is a condom. Not only does it prevent you from getting pregnant through sperm entering the vagina, it can also prevent the spread of sexually transmitted infections like HIV and trichomonas. Remember the infection that makes your vaginal discharge green or yellow with a fishy smell? That's trichomonas. Another form of contraception is the pull, which you have to take every day at the same time. Most women use this together with a condom if they're having premarital sex. There is also the injection, which has to be taken every two months. And finally, devices that can be put into your uterus and can stay there for five years to prevent pregnancy. As a last resort, there is the morning after pill, which can be taken the, a day or two after sex with no protection, but can only be used two to three times in your life and really messes up your body and its hormones. It is not something to be used lightly. If you need more advice, a clinic with a nurse or a doctor will be able to help you further. Feminine hygiene is always something that takes a backseat as we feel too uncomfortable to discuss it. But you know what? That ends today because the only people that are disadvantaged from being embarrassed are us. It is time we take control of our health and look after ourselves. So let's talk about how we keep clean and fresh. Gynagard has an essential intimate wash that is a gentle and effective hydrating cleanser. It washes away germs that cause bad smells and it can be used daily and leaves you feeling fresh and confident. If you prefer soap bars, then their pH intimate cleansing bar is for you. It is the same as the Intimate Wash, just in a soap form. Another go-to handy product is the Gynagard Wipes. It is awesome to keep in your handbag, your school bag, whenever you feel like you need to refresh yourself and especially when you're on your period. The next product is something I wish I knew about before I took that fateful bubble bath which led to a vaginal infection. It is the fragrance-free and lightly fragranced foam bath. It is gentle enough to use every day to clean and care for your skin and maintains the pH in your vagina so you never have to think about getting any type of infections. Also, the Gynagard Intimate Comfort Gel is awesome for all you sporty and active girls as it stops irritation and discomfort and keeps your vagina happy and comfortable. We want to support you and make you feel seen, heard, comfortable and confident through all your experiences in life. You can count on us to help you with your feminine hygiene and vaginal health. And if you are ever feeling lost and alone, we will be there to guide you. We want you to feel like you can talk to us and trust us. We have come to the end of our discussion. I hope this video has benefited you and taught you something or a lot of things that you didn't know. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about your vagina and how it deserves to be treated. Let's develop good habits from a young age and give our vagina the love, respect and freshness it deserves. 
Thank you for attending our Voice to the webinar. We hope you enjoyed it. Join us on our Facebook page at Ghana Guard to engage in discussions and share stories. Thank you. And remember, a happy bee is a happy bee.